Hey you guys, what's going on today? I'm going to be talking about Ryzen 7. You probably already heard that Ryzen 7 has been officially announced and the hype train for these CPUs is absolutely fucking real. I already made a video talking about Ryzen and I think that video is still pretty relevant because all the information given in that video has been confirmed, at least for the Ryzen 7 CPUs. The Ryzen 5 and 3 have yet to be confirmed. But all the information given in that video does line up very well with what's being released right now. So I think that's worthy and I think that you should check that video out. But the official release date for the Ryzen 7 CPUs is March 2nd. So this is coming incredibly soon. Pre-orders for these CPUs have already begun. So if you're interested in picking up a Ryzen 7 CPU, you should probably head over there and pre-order pre them now because I'm expecting them to be sold out extremely fast. Looking at the CPUs that were announced, we have the obvious uh, Ryzen 7s that I talked about in the last video. You have the flagship 1800X, the high-end enthusiast grade 1700X, and what they're marketing as the content creation and gaming specialty CPU, the 1700. Obviously, the 1800X is the super high-end Ryzen CPU, and obviously the price is going to show it, it's expected to be about $500, which I think is actually a really great price. I think it's amazing. During the press release, AMD compared the 1800X to the i7-6900K. And in the comparisons, the Ryzen CPU actually won pretty, pretty good. I mean, it wasn't the biggest win in the world. It only outperformed the i7 by about 9 to 10%. But when you consider the fact that the 1800X is like under half the price of the i7 that's insane then you take a look at the 1700x this chip is priced at 399 this cpu is also being compared to the 6900k and even this cpu which is a step down from their flagship is able to beat the i7 6900 900k this margin is much closer the 1700x only beats it by four percent but again, you have to look at the price. The 1700X is $700 cheaper than the i7-6900K. That is just, it, it's mind-blowing. It's insane. And finally, looking at the 1700, this is a badass chip as well. It's going to be priced at $329, which is $20 cheaper than its expected competitor, the i7-7700K. And in the Cinebench test that they showed, the 1700 absolutely killed the 7700K by a whopping 46%. That's insane. Almost 50% better. That is just mind-blowing. And this is really where I see a lot of people buying this. I don't see a whole lot of people getting into the 1700X or the 1800X. I see a lot of people who want the high-end CPUs going after the 1700 because in my opinion, this appears like it's going to be the new gold standard for content creating and gaming. I think this is really going to be the thing that knocks the 7700K off its pedestal. Obviously, these are all high-end Ryzen CPUs, and the majority of the gaming market will not be looking to pick up these chips. But you have to give AMD the credit they deserve. This is exactly the move AMD needed to make to win back some of the market share that Intel has held on to for damn near a decade. These CPUs are pretty damn amazing and I'm fully on board with the hype train for Ryzen. But let me know what you guys think about Ryzen in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. I am Motionless Gaming and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.